the Words Unspoken was actually the first song we recorded together, myself and Rebecca. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think originally the vocal lines were a lot higher and a lot more uh, operatic. And then we pulled it back a little bit. Um, mm. But I think even for us, for a while, like that was the first music video we did. And yeah. I don't... Yeah. And it, I don't even think six months before that, if you had to ask, would that be the first music video, we would have said yeah. But because we were kind of, because it had been around that long, we played it so much, it was, I don't know, like we were, we kind of done it to death. But then the more we played it live, the more kind of energy it had. And then like when it came time yeah. to do the video, that became like the really obvious choice for a music video. Yeah. Um, there was something about, there was one time we were playing it live and I, I, something just kind of clicked in my head. It was like, shit! I actually really, really, really love playing this song live because you can put so much. Like for me, like I could put so much into it with the those really high notes. Um, I don't know it's kind of interesting. Sometimes I listen to it. I'm like, oh, because <laughs> I can kind of hear my own progression a little bit from whenever we sort of started out. You know, mm-hmm. like I probably don't use as much vibrato. Um, in songs that we wrote and recorded more recently, you know, mm-hmm. but I still do use vibrato in, in, in that song because it just sort of feels natural because that was the way I've always done it, I guess. But yeah, no, it's fun. It's I, pro- it's, I like that one. It's definitely like the most symphonic metal track of the album. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it is, but it is. It's 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 so fun to do live. I do love it. Mm-hmm. It's funny you said that it was the first one that you guys recorded together, because it's also the first one that I recorded for Raven Life. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Where the stars go would be the first, I guess ballad of the album um it was another ep track it was another ep track and i think the ep version of it's definitely more of a ballad than the album version of it like it didn't it didn't change that much but it's became sort of when we're deciding our set lists live it's like the song that we can't drop it's really fun to do live it's it's Mm kind of in some ways it's 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 very well, for me personally, it's it's quite relaxing, but I imagine like for vocals, it would be quite a tough one to do because you have to try and actually put like lots of emotion and everything to get it across. But like whenever you do it live, like there's just an atmosphere that falls in the room that's really cool. Um, mm-hmm. But it's again like just from playing it live, it sort of got a bit more of a higher ballad, like more of a rock vibe to it. So it actually starts very ballady, but by the end of it, it's. Uh, head banging rock song <laughs> yeah I, I definitely think it is definitely um it's a bit kind of well i think it's a bit sort of accessible not in like a, oh, yeah, yeah. um like not in like a in, in a negative way but in a good way it's kind of an accessible <laughs> song like it's i mean it's 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 she was Feeney's favorite song you know <laughs> of, any, of any of our songs that's my dad's favorite and he's not absolutely not a metal fan by any by any means at all but um yeah, no, it's yeah, fun. No, it's, 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 it's definitely the song that if, if a non-metal fan asks to hear the band, I always kind of point them towards that song and they go, I didn't expect this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't I didn't expect his reaction either because I remember like showing him, he's like, oh, why should you band going or whatever and like showing him that song. And he's like, do you know what? That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Uh, Oh, you know, if he if he says it's good, like he means it, he's he's not he's not just being nice. <laughs> <laughs> he's the hardest critic we have. He would be he would be the type that'd be like, oh no, he wasn't wasn't a fan of that one. Now you know, <laughs> <laughs> he'd say it if, if he meant it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's um, it's also like one of the more relaxing songs for me to play as well. Like I definitely. It's a song for me to take a breather because every time we play it live, it's usually sandwiched in between something like Words and Spoken and Wild Hunt or something, you know? Which are yeah, it's, two it's songs always... that, yeah, take a lot <laughs> it's of always energy. Placed strategically in the middle of the set for everyone to sort of take a moment and uh, get the rest back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh-huh. 
uh, the spell. Oh yeah. yeah. One yeah. of my so, personal favorites. Yes. So the spell yeah. was a track that the demo of it had been floating around for quite a while, and I had actually given up on it completely. And then Rebecca was listening to it and said, "Do you mind if I take over writing it?" And I said, "Work away." So she wrote all the melodies and everything, um, and sort of it ended up like the way the direction I was taking it just wasn't working. So she kind of came mm -hmm. in to get in a completely different direction, and it came together really well it's very it's, it's a different vibe to it that's totally different would, energy isn't it yeah 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 like even I mean, that's, our, that's it. sorry go ahead <laughs> i was gonna say even ourselves like we all have different opinions about the vibe of that song <laughs> like in terms of like i i think it sounds quite <sighs> to me it's like a very gothic song yeah yeah, I would actually <laughs> say it's actually, I would call it almost a ballad, in a way. Uh -huh. yeah. It's lighter than most other songs. Mm -hmm. But then again, you know, it's not light enough to be the ballad of the album. Mm -hmm. It's fun. It's a funny one for me. Oh, sorry. It's, I was just going to say, it's a funny one for me because um, I've never actually successfully written lyrics that I, you know, wanted to put out there before um anytime i ever tried writing lyrics before i'd be like is this good and then i'd look at it later and be like oh oh just delete it oh kill it with fire oh like <laughs> or is it like whenever i wrote the lyrics for for the spell it was like huh yeah yeah like this actually i'm not i'm not i'm not embarrassed of this oh my goodness so <laughs> it's great but um yeah no it's I definitely think it, it's got a different vibe to it than some of the others because I think because it's a totally different um, it's it's got a totally different kind of uh, oh, Jesus Christ I can't even articulate because <laughs> it's because it's a different like person writing the lyrics and the melody do you know what I mean yeah. there's like there's like there's like a different um, it's a totally different approach I guess. That's probably why it sounds a bit different, but yeah. 